Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to another ramble session on a Monday. Yes, uh, thank you all for being here and sharing your time with me. I hope you all are doing well. If you like what you see, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notified when a new video comes out. Generally these days, new videos are coming out every day of the work week. So Monday through Friday, generally speaking, I've got a video coming out. Uh, it could be anything from a journal flip through to these ramble sessions to what else? Uh, collage work, glue book work, um, journal with me videos and all of that. And by the way, I have playlists for all of those things. So if you prefer to watch one over the other, then go ahead and hit up the playlists on the channel. Thank you. Okay, so let's get to it. What's on my desk? All right. I hope y'all had a great weekend. Um, I am worn out, let me just tell you, because I just got back from my walk and I just got back from doing this thing. It's Blogilates and it's a 14 day um, killer, okay? <laughs> and I'm only doing, like you're supposed to do, I think, let me see, you're supposed, yeah, do four rounds of each, okay? All right. Mm. If I did four rounds of all of these things, I wouldn't be here to film a video. That's all I'm saying. But at least I'm doing something, right? So now I have uh, a piece of yarn in my mouth. Sorry, okay. So this goes for today. Yes, I did the No More Corona Core. Oh my gosh, am I ever gonna be sore tomorrow? Okay, let's see what day. Uh, it goes in here somewhere. Okay, so let's see. Um, yeah, relaxing weekend. I I worked in here a little bit, you know. Um, I oh I have to say though. I mean I'll get to all these things in a minute, but I have to say I am fairly caught up in my journal, and I don't know that I've ever been able to say that. There are a few things here and there that I still have to do, but I'm not like days and weeks behind, which I'm not even sure if this has ever happened, okay? So pat me on the back, yep. Um, I do have one page in May that I have not finished yet, um, but all the others, like this is June 1st, and then, yeah, I worked on all these pages over the weekend, and then here's today, right? So yeah, I'm, fa I'm fairly caught up. Oh boy, is that ever a load off? Because you know what? It gives me time to do other things, right? Other things. So let me show you this right here, this lovely botanical card, so pretty. Um, I received from my sweet friend Shannon last week. No, not last week. What is today? Oh, today's the 9th? I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, she sent me a really sweet happy mail and this is from her. These sweet doilies, ooh, I don't know where she got them but they are cute and these little stickers and um, just all these really cute, right? Here's a little, look at that. That's like a little schnauzer on a boat. I mean, how appropriate is that, right? and a little cat girl, so cute. And then all of these, which was a really great idea and Shannon, I have a similar situation too with one of my uh, notepads. It has all these really great, uh, you know, quotes on them. And so look at all these. Oh my gosh. I'll be sharing some of these as well. Beautiful. I put one right here. Chinese proverb. Oh my gosh. That workout, guys, is killing me. Oh my gosh. Crafting for life. Love that sticker. Can't wait to use it. And look at these adorable doilies. These are just so cute. I don't know where she found them, but I love them. Yep, they are fabulous. So thank you so much, Shannon. I really appreciate your kindness. Um, so th this goes in the front of my book here so that I could be sure to use it throughout my pages. Okay, Whew. and then this weekend too, let's see. I did come in here and I made one of these things, right? And this is a smaller version of this, which is an ephemera holder, right? It's got six pockets in it and it just holds bits and bobs, right? Bits and bobs. Now, originally when I, when I first made these, I made them for 
this book right here. And just so you know, in the description box below, I have a playlist that shows you how to make these books from start to finish, okay? Um, if you're curious. Now, originally I made this little, it was like a like a portable bit box, an ephemera holder, whatever you wanna call it. And it goes right here in the center of my book. And you know, there, there it sits, right? And the idea is that I go through this right here and these are the things that I will then use in my book, okay? Now, I, I do that occasionally, but as time wore on, um, I had this idea like, I don't know, last year, I think, and uh, yeah, as time wore on, I was using more things around my desk and all of that, but these are still really great um, little folders to, to use as uh, like on the go, okay? And to put your like little Happy Meal pieces and all that stuff, stuff you wanna use within your book, okay? It's a really, really fun um, way to keep your stuff at arm's length, you know? Um, Oh, and I do have a video on how I made this as well that I will link below. And actually, I had to go back to my own video because I had no clue how I made it, all right? <laughs> now, a while back, you might remember that I had made these little journal covers, right? It is just simply out of a piece of heavy cardstock, right, on one side that I smush, I did smush technique. I'll leave that link below too if you ever miss those. I think I have two smush videos here on the channel. Um, a very easy, inexpensive way of dyeing paper, for lack of a better term. And then on the other side is just from my bit boxes, right? It's uh, just a collage sheet that I made. On this particular one, I did put a layer of Mod Podge. I don't normally do that, uh, but on this, in this case I did. And then I just put a little bit of washi here. And then I would like to make kind of like a faux flow journal out of out of these, I do believe, which is why I ended up making this, which is very similar to the other one I showed you, only it's smaller, right? So you just make one smaller. It's the same exact directions as this one here, using the same materials. It is just smaller, okay? Just smaller. And then it's able to fit in here very nicely, right? So with a faux flow, you just take a, a sampling of papers, right? And you just fold them in half and you stick them in here. You bind it temporarily with some ribbon and send it off. And that person has, you know, a bunch of little bits to use, papers to use, all kinds of different things to use, right? Um, like this right here. I don't know if this will fit in here or not. It's probably a bad example, but <laughs> you know. If you add something like this, which is actually a free downloadable, a very beautiful, loose uh, watercolor flowers from Suzanne Rose Art, I believe. I'll leave the link below. But see, you can put that in there. You put all kinds of stuff in here, in these things. Okay. Yeah, so I worked on that. Hopefully I'm gonna get these done shortly. Oh, I wanted to mention too, I was this morning as I was going on my walk, I was listening to Armchair Expert with Dax Shepard. It's a podcast. Um, I don't really subscribe to a lot of his beliefs, but uh, he has really interesting um, guest speakers on. And yeah, so I enjoyed listening to number one, number 209 this morning, and it was uh, Dr. Lori Santos was on there. And she is a Yale professor. Uh, I believe she's a psychology professor and she does this like most popular class on happiness. And so, yeah, it was a really cool podcast, just saying. And, um, and then she also has a podcast called The Happiness Lab, right? So when I go on my walks, if I'm not with my daughter, I listen to podcasts and yeah, so wanted to share that, just to share it. Okay, so this, let's see. Okay, and then, oh my gosh, so much fun. Let me just tell you what, okay? We had, let me see, you'll see all these in a flip through, but we had like, oh, here's another um, Suzanne Rose art. This is a free printable. I'll put the link to her video below, but it's super, just beautiful, right? Just beautiful. And then on this day here, this was a Friday and oh my gosh, yes, we had our, my crafty friends, right? Uh, Lynn from Love Lynn's Life, 
Holly from Journal with Dolly, me of course, and Allison from AJ's Inspired Life, right? We all had a video chat. Again, we're gonna try to do it like once a month and it was absolutely fantastic. We were on, oh yeah, I need the number four. I don't even know if I have a number four anymore because we were on for, oh my gosh, for over four hours, okay? <laughs> but it was fabulous, fabulous. And yeah, oh my gosh, they're my girls, right? It was so much fun, and just getting to know each other better and crafting along together and just having so many laughs and yeah, I can't find a number four right now, but it was so much fun, right? So then on Saturday, I think it was, yeah, we did this on Friday. And then on Saturday, I just doodled these little um, doodles, right, of the four of us. And oh my gosh, yeah, so cute, so cute. And I've really been into doodles lately, having a lot of fun with them. I need to make some more. And what else did I do? Let's see here. Yes, on Friday, I not Friday, I'm sorry, when was it? Must have been on Thursday. Yeah, on Thursday, I did some jelly plating. Yeah, yep. And I like my jelly prints, I, I like them to just be a colorful hot mess, just like my pages, right? I, there is no rhyme or reason, no color choice really, other than using my favorite colors. And this is on regular graph paper, and this has got to be like seven layers of paint, right? Acrylic paint, and then I did some like guest checks, right? Um, this is, I didn't finish that one. And then some little tags with some iridescent paint. I only have like two iridescent paints, but, and then this tag here, just a lot of fun, right? And then th these are little labels, right? So you can just, I mean, you can jelly print anything, okay? And so these are super fun, right? You're, and then they just come out to be like little stickers. And I've done this for years. I've done this for years and I have so many of these, like all shapes and sizes, right? So all of these are little stickers. And then these are just doilies I slapped down, you know, on the plate. So those came out super fun and cute. Again, no rhyme or reason. This is a giant sticker. It's a whole sticker. So you could always like take a punch and punch things out and make your own stickers or whatever you want to do. I think this is an index card. This was rather darkish and I wasn't a fan of that one. This, you know, anyway, so here they are. This was kind of dark, but then I liked the way that it came out afterward. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of printing, you know what I saw? I saw, I caught um, Joey's, uh, Joie de Fee's, um video yesterday Super cool, and I'm gonna try it, Joey. I am going to try it. It reminded me of dendritic printing, and I'm only mentioning it because this kind of reminds me um, of dendritic printing a little bit. Just like that texture in there, right? And what she does, what Joey did, was she took an acrylic block, you know, that you use for stamping, right? I'm sure that I have one right here somewhere, yep. She took one of these, right? Just an acrylic block, right? And she put, she dabbed some acrylic paint on it. And then she might have spritzed it with water. I'll put the video below. Y'all can go watch it for yourself. And then she stamped it, right? And when you lift it up, it makes this really cool pattern. And I remember doing dendritic printing with a piece of glass, a large piece of glass years ago. And I think it was, um, cat hand who did it if I'm not mistaken so I'll put her link below too so you can go see it but super cool and I mean what a great way to use your paint and use it with stuff that you have you know like an acrylic block and then you can make little cards like this with beautiful designs and then what Joie did which was so beautiful is she then added to it um like uh, doodles, you know, like she outlined some of like the blobs or she drew lines and it was just really cool. You gotta go see it. So anyhow, here's some of my, you know, just like index cards. I love, I love pink and orange together. It's probably one of my favorite combinations. Of course it has grunge and bits from my plate because my plate is absolutely disgusting. Uh, yeah, don't clean it, don't care to clean it. 
and um, but it leaves this was like from uh, this print was from large bubble wrap so fun to use so fun to use this just a plain one here this was a wipe up you know I just I think I just put down some I don't even know what I don't know anyway oh and then I also did some glassine bags right it's got paint flecks all over it. <laughs> so these are these are fun too, right? And then you just put them in your journal and you have a little pocket for a tag or to put bits in or whatever. So super fun. Here's some more of that iridescent paint. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can see a little bit of the shimmer. There you go. And again, these have like seven or so layers of paint on them but really fun. I just had like, I just needed a day to just relax and have fun and do something mindless. So that's what I did. This is actually just a wipe off. This was my wipe off, my brayer wipe off, right? So I can use that for something too. And then I used one of the strips. So how fun would that be to use in on a page? Oh, I might just glue it right there. Yes, I might. So that is part of what I did this weekend. See, in the background here is one of the jelly plate prints or whatever. I just glued the whole thing down. So yeah, so I did a little bit. I did a little bit. I did more yesterday in catching up with everything. You know, um, this day here was uh, yesterday, I think, Saturday. And I had watched this video here and we didn't really do much else. So I think I'll probably just end up putting a quote or something on there. Um, and then this day here, this is from the same gal, Suzanne Rose Art. And uh, I, again, I'll leave her link below. These are free on her website, but she links, ooh, look how fat my fingers are. Ooh, I'm swollen. I'm swollen, can you tell? Because I'm hot. Gee, squirrel, huh? It's like a bazillion degrees here and it's so humid, which makes me swell when I go walking and exercising. Anyhow, so this was Sundays, which um, I have some like, you know, I know I tell you guys I don't put innermost thoughts in my journal most of the time, but in this case I'm going to. I had some innermost thoughts yesterday, <laughs> so I'll probably just sit at my computer and type them out and then just stick them in here for later. And then I love this. I saw this online. Uh, on Facebook, I've told you before, I go trolling sometimes um, on Facebook, and when I see something, a meme or whatever, or some a graphic that I like, I just uh, print it out and put it in my book. Now, let me think if there were other, if there were some questions. I really should have probably looked on my phone or something before I came in here. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. So. At any rate, if you do have questions, then please feel free to leave them below and uh, I will be sure to get back to you. And otherwise, I think that's all I have to share. I'm pretty sure I'm looking around my desk and I've pretty much told you everything there is and shared with you everything there is to share. So yeah, make sure that you, as always, check the links below because everything will be listed below as to um, who I have mentioned and their channels or whatever. And, um, yeah, so you can go over there and check their channels out too. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So today I'm going to go out and about with my hubby and, um, I got to go get ready for that. I got to upload this video for you guys. And yeah, so make sure that you click the subscribe button if you so desire. Uh, give me a thumb, you know, either which way, whatever you prefer. And make sure you click that notification bell uh, so you get notified the next time a video comes out, which will be tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure tomorrow a video is coming out. So check back, check back, check the links. Have a great day. Have a wonderful rest of your week. And I'll talk to you all real soon. Bye for now.